Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss about physical design flow. The physical design stage of ASIC design flow is also known as place and route stage. This is based upon the idea of physically placing the circuits which form logic gates and represent a particular design in such a way that the circuit can be fabricated. The typical physical design flow starts with deciding the power floor plan of a design, placement of standard cells, creating the clock tree for clock signal, routing the clock and signal nets. As shown in above figure, the physical design have mainly three inputs, which are uh, gate level netlist, reference library and technology file, and design constraints. Gate level netlist. It can be in the form of Verilog or VHDL. The netlist is produced during logical synthesis, which takes place prior to physical design stage. Second, the second input of physical design flow is reference library and technology file. This is a collection of logical functions such as R and XOR, etc. These basic logic functions are is also known as standard cells. The representation in the library is that of physical shapes that will be fabricated. Technology files define the metal and wire information related to particular technology. The third input of the physical design flow is design constraints. Design constraints are identical to those which were used during the front-end logic synthesis prior to physical design. This can be timing constraints or another other constraints. Uh, in the f <coughs> before going to physical design, we had no what are the steps it, it includes. The first step in the physical design flow is floor planning. Before that, we have to set up environment. Before a design can be placed and routed within ICC, the environment for the design needs to be created. The goal of the design setup stage in the physical design flow is to prepare the design for floor planning. The first step is to create the design library. Without design library, the physical design process using will not work. This library consists of all logical and physical data that we will need. Therefore, the design library is also referenced as the design container during the physical design. One of the inputs to the design library which will make the library technology specific is technology file. Yeah, here we are going for the first step in the physical design flow is floor planning. Floor planning refers to the process of estimating the layout of the design. It includes the estimating the die size of a design, creating placement rows for standard cells, placement of IOs around the core boundary, also, macros are placed at the floor plan stage. In simple manner, floor planning is nothing but placing macros, um, creating power grid and placing the pins or pads on the die. Apart from this aspect ratio of the core, fertilization of the core area, Cell oriented and core to IO clearance are also taken care of during the floor planning stage. The second step in the physical design flow is power planning. Power planning is a step which typically is done with floor planning in which power grid network is created to equally distributed power to each part of the design. Power planning can be done manually as well as automatically through the tool. The power and ground nets are created around the core boundary with higher metal layers. The power and ground vertical and horizontal steps are also created to distribute power inside the core area, that is to macros and standard cells, because macros and standard cells are placed in the core area. Finally, the macro and standard cells pin connections are done to the straps and power and power and ground rails respectively. The third step in the physical design flow is placement. 
Placement refers to the process of finalizing the exact location and orientation of the leaf instance in the design. A very important step in physical design cycle. A poor placement requires larger area and also results in performance degradation. It is the process of arranging a set of standard cells on the layout surface. Each module has fixed shape and fixed terminal locations. A subset of modules may be pre-designed positions. Standard cells are placed in the rows which are created during the floor planning stage. Clock tree synthesis. The next step in the physical design flow is clock tree synthesis. Clock tree synthesis is the process of distributing the clock signals in the design equally. The main goal of CTS is to meet design rule constraints, skew, insertion and insertion delay. CTS is the process of insertion of buffers or inverters along the clock parts of design in order to achieve zero or minimum skew or balanced skew. Apart from this, useful skew is also added in the design by means of buffers and inverters. The next step in the physical design flow is routing. Routing refers to the process of physically connecting the instances in your design. There are four steps in routing. One is global routing, second is track assignment and third one is detailed routing and fourth one is search and repair. Global route assigns nets to specific metal layers and global routing cells. Global route tries to avoid congested global cells while minimizing the detours. Global route also avoids pre-routed power ground placement blockages and routing blockages. The second step in the routing is track assignment. It assigns each net to a specific track and actual metal traces are laid down by it. It tries to make long straight traces to avoid the number of wires. DRC is not followed in track assignment stage. Track assignment operates on the entire design at once. The next step in the routing is detail routing. It tries to fix all DRC violations after track assignment using fixed size small area known as S-box. Detail route traverses the whole design box by box until entire routing pass is complete. The next step in the routing is search and repair. Search and it fixes remaining DRC violations through multiple iterative loops using progressively larger S-box S sizes. This is the 